Hey, I'm Nima. My, my favourite game from the 80s was uh, probably Ultima 5 on the PC. What was so cool about that? Uh, amazing, really cool music. Uh, fantastic world building and uh, yeah, really cool little character design icons and stuff. So. Didn't that have all those moral kind of choices in it? Exactly. It was one of the first games that introduced that concept. It had this whole thing with karma. So if you went around and stole stuff from people, killed people, you know, you got negative karma. If you did good things, you built up good karma. And the whole, the best thing about it was that whole engine was underneath the actual game itself. So uh, you didn't know what your point system was. It just affected the game kind of on a passive level. Are there any games you uh, play now or have played since that, that, cap that capture that same feel? Yeah, yeah. Metal Gear Solid 4 changed my life. So, no, no. <laughs> but no, it was an amazing game. Almost uh, like a film. So, yeah, really, it had a real emotional impact, which I think a lot of games don't, don't have that. So. What about in the arcades? In the arcades? Um, I don't really, yeah, I don't really hit the arcades so much anymore. What did you hit in the arcades uh, in the 80s, in or, the 80s or the early 90s? Uh, early 90s, yeah, Metal Slug, Double Dragon, uh, Heavy Barrel was a favourite. Heavy I, Barrel was classic. Yeah, I love the 8-way controller. So, so uh, you cool. used to go and play that with multiple players, two, two, two of your mates? Yeah, yeah, we used to, uh, in the school holidays, the, our idea of a good time was going to the movies, hitting comic stores, watching a movie, and then the arcades would take the rest of our money. So. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Good fun. Thanks, man.